Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about Luma Fusion. Don't worry, I plan on making videos on Luma Fusion if that's what you guys want. Stay tuned to the channel. Let me know in the comment section below if that's what you guys want. But today I want to talk about that Luma Fusion actually can be downloaded on Android. Yes, Luma Fusion is officially on Android, kind of. Now, let me reiterate what I mean by kind of, okay? As you can see, that the link here for to get on Android and the link here to get on the Galaxy Store. We'll click on the Android one in a bit so we can see what all they have to offer in the store. But I do want to read this real quick. Customers who choose to purchase during the open beta, because Luma Fusion is an open beta right now on Android and Chrome OS devices. It's worth noting that it's in beta as in, you know, there could be some bugs and stuff. And apparently, if you're watching the video right now at the time of it coming out, Luma Fusion is 30% off. So that's cool, 30% off. And if you buy the beta version, you'll get the full version. But I do want to note here that some people have been reporting that if they get in the Galaxy Store, you know, they, it doesn't carry over to show that they have it on Google Play. I don't really know how that works. I don't think. Both of them are connected to each other necessarily. Um, I daily drive an iPhone, so I'm not really entirely sure. But I did used to daily drive an Android. Uh, and the story for another day. So now let's check out what Google Play Store had to say about it, shall we? Okay, so as mentioned, it's on sale for $20 right now while it's in beta. Let's see. Let's see. Let's actually click on about this app after we look at some pictures. Yeah, this is probably the best picture, I want to say, because of the fact that I feel like this is more of a true use situation, you know, on a bigger phone or on a tablet, not necessarily on a small, tiny phone. But let me know comment section below about it in general. If you plan on using it on a small Android phone or a bigger Android phone. But let's get into the this app details okay so let's see android chrome os beta let's see touch screen editing layer up to six video and six audio tracks number of layer determined by your device type so could be more, could be less, I guess. Um, I don't use Luma Fusion all that much yet, but I plan to do, like I said, I plan to do some videos on it on the channel. Stay tuned. I especially have a comparison in mind that I am really interested in seeing about. So stay tuned to that as well. Let's see. Okay, okay. So everything here looks great. Link to media on USB C drives. So that is that is good. It looks like all the fun full functionality is coming to Android. 
that is good. I know you guys may think this is, of course, the full functionality is coming to Android, but I don't know if you guys know this, but not every app, you know, is the same across all devices. Not every app program, sometimes companies, you know, have to finagle stuff a bit because of what the OS is capable of. But as far as I know, Android and iOS are very comparative to each other when it comes to editing stuff. Feel free if you disagree and think one is better than the other when it comes to editing. I'd love to know your opinions in the comment section below. Eligible for family library. Okay, so that's good that this will be eligible for the family library, which is actually, if I'm being perfectly honest, this is one of the things that could tip for a lot of people, you know, tip the whole greater idea of doing it on Android. Lima Fusion. I do know some people who actually have gone and got an iPhone or iPad just for Luma Fusion. So it coming to Android is actually a thing that I'm sure they will enjoy quite a bit. Because I'll be honest, I love being able to edit on the same, you know, ecosystem you daily drive. So yeah, that just a personal thing though. I just find it easier because you already know the system well. You're able to, your devices are able to communicate with each other better. Okay, and then in that purchases, now it doesn't go into detail what the in that purchases are, but if it's the same as its iOS counterpart, you'll get stuff like the ability to ex wait the ability to export to Final Cut Pro is a feature that the iOS version has. The Android version could use that feature too, obviously. Um you could have an Android phone and then still have a Mac. So it will be interesting to see what all feature they do include on that in the final version. Because remember, beta version, almost everything subject to change. If something breaks, it's not their fault. It's in beta. But yeah, um, this is really all I wanted to make. The video is explaining about that, and I feel like I have, and I feel like I'm going to end the video now. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you want more Luma Fusion videos in the future, let me know. Comment section below. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.